Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Nilnar, and we're in to uh, the next phase of this uh, horror story. Uh, oh, let me unpause it. Uh, first chapter, we, we, we had a little bit of an excitement there. We ran through the uh, area and, oh, it was interesting. So, we're going to go through this today and see what we can make through um we're now going to play the actual game so let's get into it and see what happens it's okay it's okay <sighs> so she's a little girl grown up okay <sighs> Get a drink. <sighs> oh, that's interesting. What happened to the roof? Other maybe? Mom. Yep. After everything she went through, she lives out in the middle of the woods? No. Mom? What? Oh. Boy, this is... He's still dreaming? Like a Fregatty Kruger. None of this is right. Okay. Her mama's picture is scratched out. We don't see ourselves walking over there, but we're back in the room. Uh, can I get another flashlight, please? <laughs> Okay, can we get this any freakier? Back again, what's the picture looks like now? More scratched out. Go the night sky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I saw something there on the thing we click on. Okay, now we're outside. To a door that has no inside. What happened to the house? Um. Oh, that's not good. Now that's not good having red stuff. If you ever played Dead by Daylight, that's that's a curse going on of some type. Breeze through. Yeah, my heart's a pounding on this one, folks. The creepy atmosphere and just the weird things happening. TV out in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah. Probably shouldn't have did that, but hey. Mom? What's wrong? I'm here. ready. Everything's all right. Yeah. 
I knew it had to be a nightmare. I might be having nightmares. Madison, 2056 County Road. Stay on the right side of the road. I mean the left. The left side is the right side. Is that a hitchhiker? Uh, we're gonna keep driving. Hey! Hey! And that's why we don't pick up hitchhikers. I don't know if that's good or bad, but... I guess I don't normally pick up hitchhikers. Although, to me, the area is too close to prisons that, uh... You know, you don't pick up hitchhikers when you're there. Okay, the lights just went out. We're here. Just when she shows up. Oh. Uh, in the House of Darkness, Chapter 2. Garrett Manor. <laughs> Nothing like a creepy old house to be uh, running around in. We say we did and don't. I've come all the way out here and nobody's home. No, there's a hitchhiker we left back there. Let me in, please! Hello? I'll try the door handle. See if it opens. I go back and get a flashlight. Got a candle for the light in the center. Oh, so it's like a candle. Yeah. This is not creepy and scary at all. Is anybody here? Oh, lights come on. Uh, I don't like that. Better design from around. the window. See if I can find anyone. We gotta find Augustine Labor. We'll start over here. Nope, guess not. Someone's gotta be around. Uh, hello? That's a creepy looking picture if I ever saw one. Or the house. 
We got a door we can open here, maybe? Nope. It's locked. Not gonna find anyone in there, I guess. Try well, this, one. this must be the place. Hello! Another victim! Hello... victim? Just a little dry British humor. Oh, you're... British? No. But spend a little while in a charming country house like this and it kind of rubs off on you. Right. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Uh, Maddie. Well, it's nice to meet you, Maddie. Uh, short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, okay. Uh, like the Avenue. Like, oh, in New York. Greatest city in the world. <laughs> Ever been? Oh, yeah, it's where I live. I mean, it's where I lived. But now I kind of live in Berlin, or, well, I go to school in Berlin. So I'm not technically a citizen there or anything. And New York is still kind of my home because, you know, it's New York City and, like, once okay. a New Yorker, always a New Yorker, you know? Well, Madison Avenue. Now that you're here, it seems like the party can finally get started. <laughs> uh, well, not much of a party. Uh, yeah, you're telling me. Wait, can I... Um, have you been waiting here a while? Uh, more than a minute and less than a lifetime. Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. Stop trying the front to hit door armor. was unlocked, so I wandered around and made myself at home. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. Isn't it kind of weird there's no one here? I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes, well... One could write a book on all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. Hey. Linda Castle. I am honored, no, humbled, to make your acquaintance. Hi. hi. It is truly a great pleasure to be graced by your presence. Okay, sure. Likewise. It's not every day you get to meet one of your all-time favorite horror filmmakers face-to-face -face and shake their hand. I would have gotten here sooner, but my car broke down, and I just couldn't get anybody to stop for me. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. You know what? Don't worry. I needed the exercise. Wait, wait hold up. Are you saying that you saw the Linda Castle stranded on the side of the road and, and you didn't stop? Uh, yeah. This is the director of my mother, my father, my blood. Nerve biter. Blade Skinner? Dismember, dismember the 25th of December. <laughs> I had no idea who she was. That's no excuse! Hey, you're a horror filmmaker. I thought, like, number one rule of horror movies was never pick up hitchhikers. Actually, it's never have sex. <laughs> but uh, no one has sex in movies anymore anyways. Fair enough. I probably wouldn't have picked me up either. <clears throat> it is a classic go. trope. I don't use tropes in my films. Well... I use archetypes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Very smart. Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and, and what's in fast this cars cabinet? and trading. Well, nothing illegal. I grab obviously. Cool. Uh oh, huh. obviously. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Here murder you enter. Mill. The, uh, murder meal. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi! You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. 
We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, by like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Isn't that the mill where she was kidnapped as a kid? But not ominous. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> Who's our host? Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Yeah. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. Yeah, I did that, but... I don't know what she's putting in it. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur... Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. And you have? I... I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All hey. of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. 
I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. So three pieces of a, a film that uh, makes people go mad. And it's the story of her kidnapping as a child, I think. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Mm. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. Mm. I had to find the right means to awaken him. That's not good. Not good at all. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Okay, a little mini game in the pain. I have to do is betray my own sister and you'll let me go free to fight another day god damn you god damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice I'll be defiant you fail to see what truly makes us human I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Okay, that's not good, Chainsaw. Uh, Amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! 
I told you I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Nope. Complaint, he got the respect of dread or defense Chris, I trust Linda's judgment. Yeah, that's a little, uh, that may have been bad, but. Of course, Chris, you're the director. But like, part of the job is working with people you trust and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way because I'm the director. And you're a jerk. Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Ugh. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. guys want me to leave? All right, all right, on your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> ah! Fuck, no! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. I am still alive. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon, Miss Christine Gordon, I suggest you immediately vacate the premises and you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill, ever. Apologize. Oh man, sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, 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 hi May. We've got a movie to finish. I know. But we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He and we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And uh, don't forget to clean up. Yeah. What are we going to do with that? What are we supposed to do with a busted-up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. Anywhere else but here. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Be All right, out, sir. Thank you, Jaime. Now remember what I said, because I'm not going to warn you again. Yes, sir. Oh. 
poster's still there. I have to be curious of the mean streets. And that will be next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I So far, this has been an interesting little cool game. Not a lot of action in it, but a, a good storyline. Make a good Halloween start out here. So, if you did like it, give me a like button. If you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.